Oh yeah, I impacted. So we are doing the King Spring install. I have to yell over the impact. So where are they? Right here. King Springs. Doing the install. Ugh. Gotta pull the wheels off. Got the car jacked up, shocked in the front. I right, had to start with the rear. Gonna pull the rear coilovers off. Compress the springs, put the new ones on. We'll get some videos of that. It's pretty simple. Uh, I just bought a McPherson uh, spring compressor for uh, the last time I did springs on my sister's FJ Cruiser. And here we go. So we're gonna start here. Oof. Gotta get these guys out right here. Shouldn't be too hard. I mean, pretty self-explanatory. The car's got cobwebs everywhere because I never drive the fucking thing. There's the last install we did, the tow arms and the uh, traction arms. Make sure those are, yeah, those are still good, I hope. Still tight. <laughs> still need an alignment. Uh, that's coming after this. Probably just going to bring it into Chevy, have them do the alignment, the mag ride recalibration, and uh, update my radio. So, front's last, rear's first. Ricky's coming over with the Supra, and we're going to do the springs on that too. Ideally, we have good weather today, no rain, like last weekend. That was two weekends ago. Was it? Yeah. That was two weekends ago. What do I know? Anyway, so we're gonna get to it. We'll update you once we're started with the springs. Okay, so driver rear is out. Mag ride is unplugged. So right here, <clears throat> this clip, uh, there's like a little safety pin. You pull it out and then push it in, pops right off. But this is why everyone is snipping this top wire. So it comes from the outside through this metal top hat and then into the coilover. So what we're gonna try to do is unclip this cover, depin that two wire harness and then pull it through so we don't have to cut it because I really don't wanna cut it. And then we'll take it apart, put the new spring in, slide it all back through and we should be fine. But that is a uh, real stupid GM. Don't know why you did that. So we got the other side back in, this side's coming out. Um, we're gonna disconnect the mag ride. We had actually cut the mag ride, uh, which sucked, but I don't have a deep pinning kit, so we couldn't deep pin it. But no big deal, cut it, soldered it, wrapped it in electrical tape, put it back together, no big deal. We're gonna slide this side out right now. We gotta disconnect the clip and get this side knocked out so we can just spin the car around and do the front end. Weather's turning to shit as per usual. Every garage day is like this. It's basically every time Ricky shows up, the weather goes to shit. So. What happened? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cut. All right, so we're going to disconnect the upper uh, mag ride harness, pull out this side, compress it, pull it off, put it back together, throw everything back in. Um, honestly, the hardest part is the wiring. Everything else comes apart really simple. If you have a spring compressor, I don't know. Other than that, Pretty simple, normal spring install. Kind of a pain in the ass with the way that Holden GM installed everything. Like the upper uh, hat has like these notches where you can adjust the um, mounting point, I guess. But lining that all back up when you put the new spring in kind of sucks. The other side was super fucked, so we had to like torque it. But uh, so far, so good. I mean, the other side was the hardest part. This should go smoothly, and then the front should be pretty easy. So, all right. All right, well, the front is apart. Um, what they don't tell you in school kids is when you take this apart, there's that. And that, I'm not gonna open it. This little guy, full of ball bearings. So, when you take it apart, they go all over the floor. So, don't do that. Um, take it apart vertically. And then you have to snip off a zip tie at the bottom of this guy and then the boot comes off. So I was trying to pull on the boot and I pulled on that little blue thing when it was laying down flat on the table and the bleep, ball bearings everywhere. Thankfully there's only like five or six of one on the floor. Balls everywhere. Balls everywhere. So now we're able to assess this whole situation here and then get these back in there. Yeah. Stroke the shaft. All right, so we are all done. The fronts were significantly easier than the backs. 
Um, the front hasn't settled yet, but it's significantly lower. Super happy with these King SSLs. Uh, need to torque the front and then turn the car around real quick. But so far the front was way easier than the back. The only thing was those stupid ball bearings on top really sucked. But super happy, the backs really sucked, but whatever, it is what it is. I'm glad we did those first. But we'll see uh, See how she drives. The mag ride is like all out of whack. I got like a service mag ride system already on the dash, so that's cool. But uh, I'm gonna disconnect the battery. Hopefully after like 30 minutes, or I'll leave it off all night, I don't give a fuck. Um, it's good to go. I'm filthy, I'm gonna go take a shower. But. All the, the next day. Oh, didn't see you there. This thing. Oh boy. All right, so suspension's all in. Car is sitting very, very nice. Super happy with the drop. Definitely got rid of the 4x4 look. Definitely gonna stuff the back with some Mickey Thompsons eventually, so gonna look real nice when that's all in there probably gonna go with forge stars haven't really decided yet but I have the dreaded service suspension system light on my dash so I'm gonna take a look apparently sometimes the rods underneath the back uh, come disconnected when you drop the control arms as you can see it was dark when we were doing this so I may have missed something it happens I'm not perfect so I'm gonna take a look see what we got Hopefully I can figure it out. If I do find out what it is, I'll grab the camera. If not, then I'll just recap what I did. But hopefully I can fix it because that light's super annoying. The car is driving okay, it's a little bouncy, but the mag ride is 100% like activated because I changed it touring, sport, performance. You could definitely feel a difference. It's just over bumps and like humps in the road, like the car, the down is good. Like it's like super firm. It's that upstroke, it's like, Boo, like one of those, you know, like going over like a hump in a road. It's very, very long upstroke. So I think it's because something's not connected and we need to do a zero point calibration. So starting with that, I already spoke to my friend that works at Finley Chevrolet here in town. Uh, I'm gonna get an appointment in to do an alignment, zero point calibration and upgrade my radio or update, not upgrade, can't upgrade it. So I'm just gonna do an update and hopefully we're good to go. So I'm gonna try that right now, see what's up. Just gonna get underneath the car really quick without jacking it up and see if I can find something loose. Uh, most likely it's just one of those rods that connects to the mag ride height sensor and if i can fix that then all i have to do is book an appointment if it's something more then it sucks for me <laughs> okay i figured it out let's look out of the sun for a sec so there's the i guess the height control rods uh front and rear the fronts are fine the rears were completely disconnected and the entire assembly was bent uh, I already put the car back down, so I'm gonna try to show you. <coughs> Excuse the grunting and groaning as we get down here. So, that guy right there, that moves with the car. That was completely disconnected. Thus, the service light that we saw on the dash. So, rebent that one. So, what happened was that rod was probably fully down, and when we jacked the car up, it didn't rotate counter or clockwise. So instead of rotating, it just bent and popped off. So that is now fixed. The other side is the same. Those king springs are in there. Very dirty undercarriage for only having 20,000 miles on it, but that's another day and a lot of rags. But ideally the light is gone now and all I have to do is get zero point calibrated, but watch out for that. I uh, definitely did not know about that and thought something else was wrong. So I'm glad that hopefully that's the issue and not having cut the harness up top. So we'll see. As of right now, everything is bolted up tight. I rechecked everything just now. And I'm on the driveway on the ground, making my back hurt. Okay. Let's jump in the car real quick and see what happens. Okay. System ready. Okay, we're in performance mode. I'm gonna close the door. I have to back up a little. Shh. YouTube will block me for that shit. Parking brake off. 
running through its checks. Let's cycle it. Oh, still says server suspension system. That sucks. All right, uh, I'm gonna disconnect the battery again and hope that goes away. Just cycling through the different settings and it still says server suspension system. All right, let's try the battery trick again. I'm gonna back up a tick. The worst backup camera in the world. Okay. Let me go pull out my wheel chocks and pull it back in the garage and then we will disconnect the battery again, see if that clears it now. If not, then I already spoke with my guy at Finley and I'm gonna get a appointment to go in and get that taken care of. But that was definitely the issue. One of the issues, maybe there's more. Cars, man. Aim the ass. Sounds good, though.